He's the kind of guy that would say, hey baby, let's get away. Let's go somewhere far where I don't care. Hey, he's the kind of guy that you give your everything. You trust your heart, share all of your love till death do you part. I want to be when he wants, when he wants and then whenever he needs it. Hey guys and welcome back. Well, the music industry is mourning the death of Temptations lead singer Dennis Edward, whose soulful tunes touched and inspired generations of music lovers. Now, while the Grammy-winning Motown star gave us some songs like Papa Was a Rolling Stone and Cloud Nine, what some may not know is that Edwards was also the inspiration for another hit song sang by none other than the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Now, Franklin and Edwards dated in the early 70s, and Franklin was apparently so smitten by Edwards that she wrote a song about him. On Daydreaming, released in 1972, Franklin Law's A Lover, who's the kind of guy that you give you everything. <laughs> The record would be on to sell over a million copies and become one of Franklin's many number ones. Now, in a throwback interview with Oprah Winfrey, Franklin admits daydreaming was indeed about Edwards and even blushed while taking a walk down memory lane. I liked him a lot, Franklin told Winfrey in 1999 appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show. I did write that with him in mind. <laughs> All right, Riri. And in another article, I read that Aretha was actually engaged to Dennis Edwards. Now, like so many women, one thing Aretha had to learn the hard way was to turn out to be one of life's toughest lessons. The men she would love wouldn't always know how to love her. Take, for example, you guessed it, Dennis Edwards, uh, to whom Aretha was also engaged. Now, Dennis Edwards was about 15 years too late, she said, explaining why they never married, meaning exactly what? Meaning, she says, by the time he realized the value of what he had, it was just too late. I was no longer interested. He had dropped kicked me a couple of times, and I had just had enough. <laughs> Well, Edwards himself has admitted as much. He should have married Aretha, he always said. It was all in my court, and I think I'm the one that was so scared of marrying a superstar. <laughs> now, it sounds like Dennis had learned his lesson after the thrill was gone on Aretha's end. Now, obviously, both uh, had moved on, but they continued to remain friends. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a lesson. Now, for honorable mention, that wasn't Aretha's only famous love interest. She apparently had a big crush on Sam Cooke, and there were even rumors that they had a thing going on, but that was never confirmed. Anyways, according to Sam Cooke's now 83-year-old brother, L.C. Cooke, who... Uh, was also a soul singer. Aretha dad did not want her hooking up with uh, Sam Cooke, but he instead wanted her to date him, L.C., because he felt that he was more settled. Ha, how about that? Well, you have it. The game called love. <laughs> well, that's it for me. As always, thank you for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, imparting y'all, be blessed. Bye. He's the kind of guy that would say, hey, baby, let's get away. Let's go somewhere far where I don't care. Hey, he's the kind of guy that you give your everything. You trust your heart. Share all of your love till death do you part. I want to be when he wants, when he wants, and then whenever he needs it. <laughs>